as a petrol head, I'm always browsing the classifieds for my next financial mistake. And I love a bargain. Here's five cars that I found that can be had for under £10,000 in the UK in 2023 that I think are complete bargains and you should go and buy right now. Number one on today's list is the Porsche Boxster S. A superbly specced, gorgeous condition example can be had within budget of both the 986 and 987 generation cars. I've actually owned a 986 Boxster S before and it's one of those cars I wish I never had to sell. Because it's mid-engined, it's wonderfully balanced and has unique handling characteristics when it comes to the rest of the Porsche lineup. One major known issue with these cars, however, is the IMS bearing. According to most, this part is prone to failing and at the very least causing severe, if not fatal damage to the engine. If you can buy a car that's already had this addressed, then great. However, contrary to popular belief, it's only been a problem in about 1% of cars. My Porsche specialist also attested to this, claiming in over his 20 years of experience working on thousands of boxsters, he'd only seen IMS failure happen to a handful of cars. My, my take on it, I'm gonna get probably a lot of, a lot of flack for this. My, my take on it is um, I've only ever seen two fail. Really? Yes. And you must have seen thousands. Uh, I've, I've, many, I've, many hundreds. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot, yeah, and I've only ever seen two fail. So if you fancy yourself a proper driving convertible that turns heads for less than 10 grand, a 986 or 987 Boxer S could be a really good shout. Number two is probably the most beautiful car on this list, the Jaguar XKR. More specifically, the X150 generation, which ran from 2006 all the way to 2014 with a facelift in 2011. The XKRs that fall within our budget come with a 4.2 litre supercharged V8 engine which produced around 420 horsepower. Most importantly of all though, it sounds like this. Later models had a 510 horsepower 5 litre supercharged V8, although they're still closer to 15 grand to buy than 10. It's probably worth saying too that in my opinion, I don't think these Jags are going to become any cheaper. Values are only going up. For 10 grand then, you can expect to find a 2006 to 2008 example with around 100,000 miles on the clock. Find yourself a good Jaguar specialist, keep on top of maintenance and the odd repairs, and overall, this could be a pretty reasonable purchase. I think it's truly amazing that you can buy one of these for the same price as a 2013 Audi A3. I know which I would rather have, plus I wouldn't mind being stuck on the side of the road waiting for the AA in my Jag XKR. It's nicer than my house. The third car on today's list is one of my favourites, and a car I'll endeavour to own one day. It's loud, Italian and Greta Thunberg's worst nightmare, the Maserati Quattroporte. Now, what most people don't realise, and actually I didn't realise until researching for this video, is that they've been producing the Quattroporte since 1963. For perspective, the BMW 3 Series, one of the most popular sedans ever made, has only been in production since 1975. Nonetheless, today's bargain is Generation 5 of the Quattroporte, which was released in 2003. Some interesting specifications can be found on the used market, as Maserati offered 15 exterior paint colours when new. Not only that, but the leather upholstery was available in 10 different colours with three choices of wood finishes too. For under £10,000, you can expect to buy an early 2003 to 2006 example with less than 50,000 miles on the odometer. However, if you can get a 2007 or later model, I would definitely recommend it. From 2007, the Quattroporte came with a ZF6 speed transmission, which was and is much more reliable and smoother than the Duo Select box that came before it. And yes, if certain things go wrong with these Maseratis, and I'm sure they do, it can be quite expensive to put right. However, you cannot deny that for under £10,000, this is just an incredible car. My number four today then is a car that I think is often overlooked and forgotten about. In fact, I did a video review on this car last year and was very impressed. It is the Nissan 370Z. Now, this car came as the successor to the very popular Nissan 350Z and arrived with a bigger 3.7 litre V6 engine 
producing around 340 horsepower. Build quality and interior trimmings were improved, and all in all, the 370Z was a much more grown-up car. From experience, it handles remarkably well and accelerates quicker than you might expect. It gives the impression of a much more expensive car from behind the wheel and can be yours for under £10,000. You can have the 370Z in either coupe or convertible guys, and you may also choose between an automatic or manual transmission, none of which are a bad choice. If you do opt for a manual example though, you'll be able to enjoy the automatic blip or rev matching mode, something which I thought I would hate, but actually found extremely satisfying to use. If you can, try and get a GT spec as these came with better factory fitted options, such as the central infotainment screen. The 370Z is probably the most sensible choice on this list with fairly reasonable servicing costs and a fairly good reliability reputation. However, it's still a car that feels special, is exciting to look at, sounds amazing, and I'd be super proud to turn up to my friend's house in. Number five, and finally, I'm actually gonna leave this one to you. There was a few in my shortlist for this fifth place, but I just couldn't decide. I would love you guys to comment and discuss below on what you think is an absolute bargain in 2023 that can be had for under 10,000 pounds. I hope you found the cars on this list interesting today, and if you've got anything to say about them or any experiences of your own with these cars, do please feel free to also comment below and share with everyone else. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're one of my 75% of regular viewers that have not done so already. And if you'd like to see more content like this going forward, then make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. Thanks all so much for watching, and I hope to see you very, very soon.